so today i'm going to show you guys snippets of my india vlog i don't have a full vlog i genuinely did not pick up my camera often enough to create an entire vlog but there's snippets i'll try and explain what's going on i have some dubai content i have done a lot it's like beginning december and i was in india i was in india i i was in india in november so it's been a whole month i've done a lot i've had friends come and go in and out of dubai so i've been busy with them you guys know when i have no friends here i'm like a lot of my friends don't live here i'm busy when they're here when they're not here i'm in bed doing nothing like today but they're still here but i'm taking a day off because i am old i need a break i need time off from this hectic lifestyle i just can't do it anymore it's too much for me but let's uh rewind to a month ago and see what happened in india elise coming through with the aesthetic pictures at 2 a.m 3 a.m we had a mcdonald's which was honestly disgusting and now i'm ready to pass out but like let's talk about this lighting fantastic lighting and shockingly i did not buy anything this trip in the airport because it was a different terminal and honestly this terminal sucks Okay, touchdown Bangalore. Honestly, fantastic flight. Plane was a bit old, but it's fine. We both slept the entire way. The second the plane took off, our beds were reclined. We were out cold. I didn't even smell breakfast. I thank God I didn't. Plane food always makes me feel so nauseous. Yeah, plane food always. Like... Can someone explain to me why? Why does plane food always smell like that? Yeah. Okay. Can someone please explain to me why you have to put your seat in the upright position for takeoff and landing? I want to know because so I hate your, are gonna, your legs are going to like break <laughs> you lie down. No, that's a brace position so your neck breaks first if no, there is a crash landing. No, apparently that's a false rumor. That's the least Okay, well, oh, he's fully yeah. in the middle of the road. Zero, zero shit. Like I hate when they open the suite and they're like, good morning! And you're like, is it? So I just got in to the hotel and my sister should be arriving shortly. I was not gonna wait for her at the airport. This is a five-star hotel in India. No wonder my standards are so high. If I lived here, my standards for five-star hotels would be this. And this is not giving. But at least he's given us a really nice, lovely, big, bright window. Yeah, I'm not complaining. Um, Elise and I, <laughs> we've got double beds. I thought we were gonna cuddle, but she said no. Elise's just arrived and we are going for a little exploration journey, adventure. We're going to explore. And first we are gonna head to Pernia's pop-up where I actually got my reception outfit from. And then, Maybe go check around and see what's there. First, we do need to have some food because it has been a few hours since I had my breakfast at 9 a.m. and it's currently about 4 p.m., if I'm not mistaken. Also, my henna is looking revolting. I'm looking at it now and like from a distance, it looks fine, but up close, it's just such shoddy work. You know, I'm just like one of those people that I'm like a bit of a perfectionist. If nothing is like perfect, I don't want it. And this is why I don't get my henna done because if it's shoddy, then it just looks gross. And also when it when it's this color, it's a bit gross. I like it when it's like really dark. But I also don't have patience. I did not have patience to wait for it to develop and keep my hands warm, whatever you're supposed to do. So I'm not gonna lie, I got rid of it after two hours. This is like two hours of development. Kate <laughs> and I travel all the way to a new city. And the first thing we do, well, the second thing we do, the first thing we do, we went to Pernia to look at the outfits, see if we can find some cute outfits. Honestly, like, we barely speak Hindi, so it's very hard to communicate with our driver here. And we're just starving, so there wasn't much. So then we decided, let's just go to the mall. A lot of you guys have sent me amazing, like, recommendations. Oh, that nice. Yeah. First stop, Tibbs Frankie. Tibbs is, Tibbs is, Tibbs Frankie. They definitely have one of these in Dubai. And my dad was like, oh, they're, they're actually quite good. They're like quick snack foods. And this little stall, this guy's so cute. He's like, yeah, speaks English, amazing. Obviously, broken Hindi. I can just about order two chicken chili Frankie. So oh, it's dead. That would have been so cool if it was alive. Oh, look, the rabbit. Oh, oh my God, it's so cute. cute. I want to 
the green one. Cute. Both bounce with our go-to, whether we're in Bangalore, where's the rod? <laughs> I just got the blue out. Elise is still getting her hair done. And then we're gonna get ready. This is Elise's look for the evening. So on trend. Oh my god, if this car doesn't work. Oh my god. god imagine. Guys, I'm in some random person's house for this after party and we're stuck. We are stuck in his house. Oh, he has, we're stuck. No one can hear us, everyone is upstairs. There's a dog here that is so sweet. I have to show you guys. Hello doggy, hello. Oh my God, it's so cute, the face is actually so cute. I miss my dogs. Dude, why are we, why are we at this like, after random, <laughs> random dog and I'm in my- Lango bird. <laughs> Hi doggy. That was my India vlog. Now let's kind of rewind to about a week ago and then I'll update you guys from there. Back in Dubai, haven't updated you guys in a month, but fine. Um, today we are at Biolight. We're in the new Ivy Lounge. Hello girl. You can't just assume my gender. Today we're getting IVs. My friend Emma, who you guys know from YouTube, maybe Instagram, is coming. We're gonna get IVs and then we're gonna go for lunch, but I just wanna show you guys the new IV lounge. It's so cute. This is the little IV lounge. We have this massive TV. Does anything come on this TV? Yeah. Can we watch like the Kardashians? If you want. Ooh, fine. You can watch me. No. Do you have a. How come you don't have your name on this? Should be like you have CEO. Your, oh, yes. Can we can we get Lily's gum? Ask uh, Jenny. Mona needs CEO beach. All our VIPs have custom gowns. Obviously, I have a custom gown. The clients of VIP here. No, she spent five hundred dirhams. You know oh wait. I think this was like two k. Minimum spend two k. If you don't like it, go somewhere cheaper. Thank you. Okay, we're at Biolight and look who's here, guys. Hello. <laughs> it's Emma. No, oh, can you do this? Yeah, she'll have decent videos. Yeah. We'll move this out of the way. You're so professional with your tripod. <laughs> yeah, maybe I never so. bring my tripod anywhere. I actually never, rarely ever bring it out. It's, not best. it's a lot well, of energy you need to it, film. Well, honestly, it is a lot of energy filming and people are like, can you vlog your trip? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And then yeah. you get there and you're like, I just want to relax. I want to enjoy. I want to live my life. And like the camera doesn't fit in like all your handbags. Oh. It's just a bit of stress, really, guys. Not everybody wants to be filmed either. Honestly, yeah. Everyone's like, mm. and then like and then after you do the edit, they're like, no, take that out. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, That's literally me in like all the yeah, videos. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? We're just not gonna film together. Yeah. You make me crop everything out. It's so awkward when you have to do that as well. It's just like so <laughs> jarring. Um, okay, so today Emma is getting an IV. Trying to. Yeah, trying <laughs> to. Trying to find a thing. <laughs> Um, we're, we're getting there, and then she's gonna come back and do some. Actually, Elisa, you can talk about this. <laughs> My voice. I literally can't talk right now. Well, we, she wanted to find out more about the G Shot. Oh yeah, yes. this G Shot O Shot. Yeah, yes. she's red. So one. Oh, have yes. you read about? It? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So one of them makes you like really wet. Yeah. And then they like, <laughs> increase like the orgasm level. Wow. Or whatever. Yeah. Emma's like so down to try all yeah, of this. Yeah, everything. Oh, really? I think I can be your guinea pig. Yes. We would actually love someone to talk about comprehensive it. Comprehensive review. That would be amazing. Because <laughs> no one's ever Oprah's talking about it. Everyone's like super like, oh, it's taboo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's taboo, but I'm sure you're But, but everyone busy. does. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're busy. Busy. <laughs> busy. Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, if Emma does talk about it, we're yeah. 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 You should definitely. I've always wanted to. Oh, yeah, when you're back, I was always thinking, hmm, what does this thing be like? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> apparently, does it hurt as well? Like, it when doesn't. you do it? No, I mean, if you get like a shot of anesthesia down there, then you're like, 
But I can imagine not. a lot of women like are a bit put off by that, you know, having a needle yeah. down there. But there's yeah. other, there's also... You know what, the needle's not the issue. It's like getting a pap smear, that's the issue. I hate oh, pap yeah. smears. You still haven't had a pap smear. No, I have. Recently. I have oh, really? Had one. Yeah. Recently. But they still use like clamps. Yeah, they still use the clamp oh, thing. Yeah. There has to be a new way of doing it. Honestly. Which just sounds so like old fashioned. <laughs> no, I think for me the injection would be some, really would be a bit more. Yeah. I yeah. see. I got one injection and I was like, oh, I'm kind of numb. And then he starts injecting like the other areas. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm like completely numb. Yeah. Oh, you did it already? No, but when I did my egg freezing, uh, they yes. had to numb me yeah. down. That have you done? I was sedated though. Oh, I was wow. out. I wasn't out. Oh my god. Yeah. I, <laughs> you were fully. I was. I was like in and out. And, <laughs> I was like lying there with my legs up and then I was like half awake and I was like, is it done yet? And he was like, yeah, look at those new eggs. I'm like, oh, look at the eggs. <laughs> no way, they didn't show me the eggs afterwards. I was out of it, but it was such a good out of it feeling. Oh, I love being out I love it. I love it. It's like the best. Oh my God, that's so it's so good. Best. It's the best sleep. I right, let's see if we're going to get it in. Okay, it's, ow, oh, 5.30, no, it's quarter to six. Maybe it's six. And I just had a really lovely day with Emma. I know I didn't vlog much. And this always happens when I'm out with friends I haven't seen in a long time. And I have every intention of vlogging, but it just doesn't get done. So that was that. I have to go for a dinner. Hi, my love. Come here. Come here. I have to now, well, I've taken off all my makeup. And now I have to get ready for a dinner in about two hours. I need to do my makeup. I need to let my makeup melt into my face whilst it's melting into my face i need to do my hair because the hair is looking a little bit flat i'm exhausted though i'm really exhausted i also have to decide what to wear tonight to my friend's birthday this is like q4 party season in dubai november till jan today and i am <laughs> grocery shopping it's my favorite thing to do today we are having a barbecue my mother woke up and decided actually no at 3 a.m last night she decides to message me we're having a barbecue tomorrow i am the lucky one that gets sent to do the grocery shopping i love grocery shopping honestly my favorite pastime it's raspberry season but these raspberries are looking weak maybe i'll make a trifle again yes let's make a trifle i am so forgetful i don't know if anyone else has to do that oh why is it if anyone else has to do this, but I need to. Carrots, done. Pineapple, done. Eggplant, didn't get it. Cold food, didn't get it. Baked potatoes, asparagus. We didn't get mustard. I I've got a whole bunch of unnecessary things. But look, guys, for my potatoes, I got some raclette, which is going to be phenomenal. We also got some mushrooms. And this, do not sleep on this butter. If you find fantastic french butter don't sleep on it buy it it's phenomenal it literally changes everything and then i found lacto-free halloumi not that i really care that much when it comes to cheese but i know my sister cares oh what the hell is this this is literally the the length of my legs oh my god it's a scam wait Oh my god, I just broke it. Whoops. Look, it's my height. Is it taller than me? Okay, grocery shopping done. We got a majority of the things on the list, except for the dessert and the garlic sauce. But I think I'm gonna order that from a Lebanese restaurant and maybe some like hummus on the side. I also, oh, I need to get my lashes filled. God, look guys, look what I did. All on my. This is done, keep it medium, medium. Yeah. Good. Okay, current day. It is December 5th, I think. I have no idea. If you're wondering why I look like this, it's because I've not been taking care of my skin or my diet or my health. And I really need to start scheduling some appointments to sort my shit out because my skin looks like this or my, sin my, my situation internally is not. It's not good. Well, my lifestyle's a mess. So um, I'm doing the most. By the way, I just want to say when I'm in India, my skin is flawless. You don't wear makeup. My diet is different in the sense that I'm eating just mainly like Indian food. It's, it's something I like to do. Whenever I go to a different country, I like to embrace the culture and the traditions of the country and just kind of like eat their food. Like why would I go to a different country and eat the same food that I eat 
when I'm at home. It makes no sense to me. It's like when people go abroad and they just go to like Cipriani, LPM, Zuma, Nobu, and it's like, don't you have those restaurants in your own country? I mean, if you don't, fine. But like, I mean, it is sometimes nice to do that because the vibes are different. I get it. And you always know that the food there is consistent. So I'm not slating that completely, but it is nice to also involve yourself in the country's culture. Yeah, my diet was different. I was having three meals a day, whereas in Dubai I have like one meal and like a few snacks a day. I don't drink as much water, but I think it's just something to do with like the environment and like the weather here. It just, as well as like obviously diet and sleep. Sleep's a big thing. Obviously I've been going out a lot, coming home at 4 a.m. and waking up at 2 p.m. just is not the vibe, but also, I'm grateful that I can do that. I have an event tonight. <laughs> and also the football is on. It's like the FIFA World Cup. And usually I'm not a big fan of football. I do support Chelsea. But I do not care to watch every single football match. Except when the World Cup is on. I'm very proactive with this football stuff. And all the good matches start at 11pm here. Which means they finish around like 1.30. Oh my god. The fact that I'm leaving my house with this massive volcano. It's the hair, it's the, the face, everything right now is just not giving. <laughs> but I don't care. This is a quick before, and in the next clip you're going to see the after, which is hopefully going to be a dramatic change on this situation. I never get forehead pimples, like spots like this, what the hell is that? Actually, I'm also on my period, so maybe it's hormones. Okay, makeup done. The pimple is still very much prevalent and visible. What pimple? I actually did see. It's fine, because you know what I just need to do is stay away from the light. Fortunately, <laughs> this event is not going to be... Oh, I'm hoping it's not going to be brightly lit. Um, I don't think so. But I am so excited to show you guys my outfit. I have a new petite sample, which I cannot wait to show you guys. It... I'm hoping it's gonna look cute on, but it basically is to match my green Lady Dior bag, which I've only worn once since I got it two months ago. So for the new pieces we have, oh, this gorgeous crushed velvet in emerald green. This is the little top. It's like this little bow crop top and I'm wearing the shorts, which have like a little tie waist, but it is a little bit big. I wanted to wear the trousers, which are slightly larger than expected. I think I'm gonna put on the green Van Cleef necklace, the bracelet, the earrings. No, that's too much. Overkill. Definitely wear the bag though. The bag is, what shoes do I want to wear with this outfit? Okay, so guys, today we're having the watermelon salad. Sea bream carpaccio with three sauces. This is like olive oil, this is truffle oil, and then this is a really nice mandarin oil. How do I pronounce that? I don't know. The only drink you need to get here is the Santorini Spritz. Guys, I just got home. I took my vlog camera out with the hope of like vlogging, you know, doing some content, didn't happen. Anyways, um, whilst I'm taking off my makeup, I'm like, ooh, I feel like this pimple's going down. And then I notice another volcano on the verge of eruption. I think it's probably because I tried to pop the first one. And this, let this be a lesson to you guys. Do not do this yourself at home. I tried to do it myself and I must have spread the bacteria unintentionally. Although I use like an alcohol wipe, but just I'm not very good at this skincare stuff, which is a little disappointing considering my mother owns an aesthetic clinic. She would not be happy about this. I have a meeting tomorrow and I'm I'm actually embarrassed to walk around like this. I might just put on, no, I'm definitely putting on a cap tomorrow. Watch me wear a cap tomorrow. Anyways, I'm gonna sign off. I hope you enjoyed this awful vlog. And I'll see you guys. Uh, now I'm just rubbing bacteria on my face. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm not doing vlogmas. I don't have the patience, but I will try my best, my utmost best to be as proactive as physically possible. You can also check me out on TikTok. 
sometimes I post that once every few weeks. <laughs> like one day I'll post like three videos and then I'll just like sign off for a month. But I'm trying, I'm really trying. Being a millennial is hard in this generation, guys, when you have to keep up with this Gen Z stuff. God, how am I nearly 30? Anyways, bye. Okay, new day, same me. Today I had a very exciting meeting with a videographer. I kind of want to change things up on this channel. I'm getting bored. I feel like the content's getting stale. And honestly, I feel like if I have someone filming with me or if I have someone filming me rather, I'm going to be more active. I've decided to take on a videographer. Basically, he's going to manage my content for me as well. He's very sweet. I can't wait for you guys to meet him. He's also an Aquarius, which makes us very compatible because I'm an Aquarius and I love fellow Aquarians. I have met an Aquarius man before and I think we're pretty similar. So I was supposed to go to the beach but I don't think I'm going to be doing that because I need to go home and film a whole video which I've just kept putting off. And I also need to refilm a segment of a sponsored video because in that video I am wearing a Balenciaga t-shirt. I'm not doing it in this video, it'll be a different video but this is my little setup of new shit that I bought. Also, just want to talk to you guys about this. This phenomenal lip gloss. It's called Gloss Bomb Heat in the color Fenty Glow Heat. I'm wearing it right now. Phenomenal. I just put lip liner on. I kind of like smudge the lip liner. I wear Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 2. Put this lip, lip gloss on. I'm kind of becoming a gloss girl. Except it's a bit frustrating when it's windy and I feel like I'm constantly like topping up throughout the night. I'm like one of those girls that sits at the table and just goes, yeah, it gives off the wrong vibes, but it has to be done. Also, actually side note, applying makeup, touching up my makeup at the table, very rude. Don't do it. Sometimes I do it when I'm out with friends, but if I'm in like a formal setting, you will never catch me putting my makeup on like touching up my makeup in a public, you'll never catch me putting lipstick, makeup, just in general touch ups at the table. Very rude. Gonna get straight into this video so then I can continue my day. It is currently, wait, I need to put some more jewelry on. I look bad. Just finished filming um, a little haul. Can't wait for you guys to see that. I am now going to pick my sister and my friend up from the beach. I was actually supposed to go see them at the beach today, but then I was like, babes, I've already got a meeting. I also have to film, priorities. Anyways, like every day is a f***ing day off for me regardless. So I'm like chilling most of the time. And the one day I decide to actually do some work, people are like, let's hang out. And I'm like, Ugh, I need to be an adult now. I need to sort my shit out. Oh, okay. Um, I'm ready for the mall. I'm actually running late to pick up my sister. Oh my God, that's probably her. It's definitely gonna be her. Oh, I am. Nope. Hello? 